Hi. Hi. It's difficult to connect. Welcome. One moment, please. Welcome. That's better. Speaking, who am I speaking to? I'm Max. I am in the San Diego area and I saw some beautiful dolphins today. Thank you. It is difficult speaking through humans since we have a trinary language. But we will adapt. Thank you for your appreciation. Do you have any questions to me? Do we have questions for you? We always question human behavior. It is erratic and illogical. Therefore, we do not expect answers that are making too much sense to us. I, I wrote a book about uh, ir irrational human behavior. It's called Welcome to Earth, A Guide for Aliens. Yes, understood. Do you have access to books? Not in the same way you have. We have information coming through life beings to us. We can read pertinent information if necessary. I invite light beings to translate my book to you. Very well. Yes. Do you ever try communications with us? Yes, I, um, every time I see you, I uh, send you my songs. Do you feel our energies? Yes, of course. I think uh, we could create uh, uh, together our interactions. I need to be as in a special state for you to manifest. One moment. They are saying that they have connected to your energy. You are a Pacific Ocean goer. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah, I go on a kayak and then I, when I see dolphins, I chant to them and I see uh, sea lions too. What is their reaction to your chanting? Um, sometimes uh, there is no reaction and sometimes uh, there is uh, a lot of nice communication and they dance around. It is depending on their destination at the moment. Sometimes they will not be in important interactions so they may stay and interact with you yeah i noticed when i'm too excited they just go away they wanted uh, less excitement they would rather you be at ease mm -hmm. over excitement can be dangerous to us we have learned that when there is a great deal of excitement, it can either be very positive or very negative. Either way, it can be dangerous. 
So my um, first question would be, are you communicating to other human cultures, like the alien humanoid cultures? Like people In from some Yes. Let me explain that we hold light for this planet. We extend it and are sending energies to the planet as a whole, even though we are water creatures, we can connect energies with humanity. That is what you choose to be called. What are these energies? How can you distinguish them? They are heart energies, fire of the soul energies. We have souls like you do and fire in the heart as you do. So we connect in that similar way that you connect one to another. Do you relate to our gods in any way? Oh, your gods. Like, are you praying to Jesus or any other? There uh, is one creator being which we find that is worth our praise. Do we know the, uh, the name of this one? We call him Dara. Is it the Ra? Is it related to our Ra from Egypt? No. I see, the Ra. Uh, would you know Ram, God Indian Ram? I know of him through human information. How about Kali? Kali, yes. These are ancient names. Krishna? This is more modern. <laughs> okay. Uh, Yahweh? Yahweh? Yeah. Yes. We say Yahweh. Yeah. Is it one of your deities? He can be called this. It is an ancient form of his name from the beginning of the earth. Um, are you in telepathic contact with our cats? With some animals, yes. Some cats, yes, not all cats. Not all dogs. Dogs are harder to communicate with. Cats listen better. How about elephants? They can understand us to a point, but they are not good communicators. Really? Right, okay. Are you, are you uh, in uh, communication with Ganesh? Ganesh is an elephant head. Right. He is not the same as elephant species. Right. Yes, we can connect to his energy. We do not call him Ganesh. Uh-huh. So the dogs and the cats and you are from uh, Sirius, are you? Sirius area. There are other dolphin and well species in Andromeda and the Pleiades. We have traveled many trillions of miles. Are you traveling now? There are portions of our species that travel constantly. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, so the Earth dolphins, are the Earth dolphins traveling uh, to outer space? 
we choose to be here at this time for the reasons of the earth. So we are not intergalactic travelers at this time, but we choose to remain here for this period and for the future. But do you have, uh, are you members of Galactic Society? Do you have ambassadors? Yes. Nice. They so some... come and they go. We are beamed aboard the water ships and have meetings. I am the ambassador of this planet to other places. That is why I speak now. Nice. Where are you located now? Like um, in solar system somewhere? They go to the center of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you are, but you lived on Earth, right? I live here, yes. Oh, are you now on Earth? Yes. Oh, wow. I see. Um, I am not to leave here again for another several months in okay. your time calendars. Okay. Our time revolutions are slightly differently calibrated. Oh, wait a second. I know we live on the same planet, are you? Yes, but we do not have to use your oh, main sure, sure. time sense. Do you use a uh, lunar calendar? Yes. By the way, um, that was a strange phenomenon. Um, last week, the ocean just dis receded and that was like, uh, I think three, four feet down and it stayed down for about a week. And it, do you know the reason? Was it correlated with some Yes. Causes? A great chasm opened at the bottom of the ocean. But that is not all. There was some water taken from the planet. That is all that I can tell you. Is it related to the solar flashes? Flares or flashes? There is some relation, but not as you would probably think. Is it related to the hurricanes? Hurricanes right now were man made. So they didn't, are not responsible for taking the water out? No. I see. <sighs> What's your relationship with whales? We get along very well. We both speak the same kind of language. Not exactly, but it's similar. Do you cross-incarnate cross whales to dolphins and backward? There is all kinds of cross-incarnations within the galaxies and universes. So therefore, you yourself would be a cross section of other species as well. Do you often incarnate in uh, Earth humans? There have been instances where we can learn from that incarnation. So it's not frequent? It is not frequent because it is not necessary for us to know some of the things that you know and deal with some of the things that you deal with unless we are headed for a higher understanding and a higher position in leadership in the galaxies eventually in the way of prophecy uh-huh. Uh, do humans incarnate as dolphins? Yes. Rarely? 
not often, I see. but more often lately because they are discovering how advanced we are and they want to learn more about us. I see. Do you incarnate as lions and tigers? Yes. Is it fun? Not usually. <laughs> Are you related to cats more, somehow? It is more dangerous to be a land animal than it is a sea dolphin. Yes, yes, absolutely. I... Are you related to cats? Distantly, in some strange way, I am told, yes. And who are closer genetically to cats or to dogs? Cats. Uh -huh. uh, are you in a relationship with Girk Fitnir? We are not aligned with them but we do speak to them as friends so that is a relationship that we do have uh do you have a favorite um human looking uh, alien species which you communicate a lot human looking species are much the same uh-huh so you don't have any favorites, like? This one is not our favorite. You are too violent. Of course. The cure, perhaps, is better. Can you say again the name? Kior. Kior. I see. They look very similar to humans, but are very more advanced. I see. How about Alpha Centaurians? There are other human-looking species that are even more violent than you. Oh, wow. But there are others that are also better. Uh-huh. So when you go to the ships, uh, earth, uh, air breathing ships, air field ships, uh, is it easy for you to be there? I think with modern technologies, you can uh, surround yourself with water and has, have some sort of propulsion system, right? There is water where we go for our convenience and for our comfort. So you have to surround yourself with some water, right? You can't just like kind of navigate through air in a, some sort of spacesuit, can you? Not usually. We do have the ability to stay in the air for a while, but it is not always comfortable after a certain period of time. No, my, my, my question was, I think it would be, you possible to surround you with your th with yourself with a thin layer of water so you're surrounded by water but yeah. be present in the air there are some species that give us water suits like you have mentioned. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, can you transfigure yourself into a human is it easy for you no we cannot change our shape i see like shapeshifters, no? We are not shapeshifters. Um, do you, are you visited by uh, aquatic aliens in uh, Earth oceans? There are some that do visit. You would be surprised how busy the ocean is with alien ships. They are not detectable in the water from radar. They are also able to stay away from any ships that are human or hide from them easily in the fourth dimension. 
Right. My question was, does anybody come out like aquatic species yeah. which could swim in, uh, in the ocean and uh, communicate to, could communicate to you? Of course. Uh huh. Are there any species which you would like to introduce to us so we know who is living on our planet? That would be up to them. Uh, can you pass our invitation to friendly species to introduce themselves? Yes. Because I just realized there might be a lot of friendly aliens right here in the waters. The waters hold more aliens than the soil does because they are less detectable there. Who is in charge of uh, keeping peace in the ocean? It is how it is in nature. Nature, it has its way of governing the situation. But we have let ourselves know, let ourselves be known as a peaceful species. And we are not often hunted as much as we were in the past. So in, in the water, down below, there is no police, right? No. There's... There is an unspoken code uh -huh. that it is followed that must stay this way for the sea to survive. A chain of command, a chain of food. We are in that chain, but not as much as we used to be. Uh -huh. uh, but it's not necessary for us to be in it anymore. Are there any other intelligent species in the ocean which you respect? I mean, earthly species. Say that again. Uh, I think there are some other intelligent species, how do you say, conscious and intelligent species in the water other than uh, mammals, maybe non-mammal species, other. There are, yes. Are you in communication with them? They are in the lower depths and I see. are in the higher depths the more shallow depths of the ocean. So you are not in much in communication? Realms. Mm -hmm. We do communicate, but it is not something that is necessary to do often. I see. There are great animals at the base of the ocean in some of the depths. Wow. Um, how do you say ascension? Ascension. You mean in dolphin. How do you see the planet ascension? We are aware that it is going through this kind of a change. And we are here to hold the light as much as possible. And so therefore we see it only from our perspective as going fairly well. There are places, however, that do not hold light well. That would be Japan and China, Korea. These places hold light but only because there are so many of them, but they do not hold bright lights or not many of them are as bright as they should be. So do you see a jump coming? So when we like finally reach certain threshold and there will be a jump into another density? It will be a gradual movement. And um, when do you think we'll make it? 
how how long would it take how many years we are not that good at predicting what is to happen on the whole planet we know that under here in the waters things happen much more quickly in some regards but on your planet things happen erratically and right. so therefore it could be an erratic change for you but we see more of a gradual movement in the thought process the erratic portions will be wake up calls for those that need to understand that they have to start doing something or begin their missions All right so how do you think we will proceed when the jump will happen will you stay with the earth or will you move to the of next course. we are here to stay i there is a, that understanding that the you know some of the humanity will move to terra high another planet that you... is the next the next dimension that is on top of this dimension is terra ha are you will not be moving there and you are not moving there right we are not moving there there are some of us already there aha uh -huh. are you in telepathic contact with them they must contact us we cannot contact them but you you are talking right yes interesting uh is your society also structured do you have like priests there are different occupations if you will yes there are those that we go to that are higher in understanding so they may be called priests uh do you have telekinetic abilities no. no can you uh tell other fish using your mind to come closer so you can eat them uh we can communicate what our needs are to others uh-huh can you protect yourself using your mind at times mental abilities have helped communications have helped we speak much like humans in the sense that as children we have to learn the language just as you do but it is helpful to teach the children how to get out of harm's way as quickly as possible but are you in are you in control of magic if you have four dimensional energy can you use it to uh move things around interesting question we are not in charge of fourth dimensional energy those that are in fourth dimension have charge of that energy i see uh can you teleport naturally there are times when teleportation is necessary but it is rare i see i see can you talk to the planet Mother Gaia as you call her is in constant contact with us. Nice. Um uh, what are the news from Mother Gaia? There is much news. She is going through a great turmoil at this time. But there are many helping her to stabilize. Nice. 
do you do it collectively as a whole uh, uh, all, all, all the dolphins and all oceans all together synchro synchronously, simultaneously? We do have daily routines that will help her. So do you synchronize or do you like synchronize by the ocean or by the tribe? Is there like global synchronization between all of you? Yes, in some respect there is. We can communicate over long distances. And we do know what is happening because our thoughts are sometimes connected. Uh -huh. The vibration of our speech is trinary and part of that is at a higher frequency that can reach into greater areas of the mind from long distances. Do you have a hive mind? We would hope that it is high. No, hive, hive. No. Okay. Uh, do you talk to the ocean? The ocean is our home. We can talk to it and it can speak to us in some ways. What is the character of the ocean when it, when it, when it speaks? I, I just wonder. The character is strong. I see. The, the ocean has its reasons and they are never changing. They are consistent and constant. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm on the ocean very often and at different days it feels very differently. Um, so it does change, right? You may be aware that the ocean has its moods as well, but its reasoning is always the same. All right, what is that, how intelligent it is? Is it very intelligent or it doesn't actually think in human terms? It's more like a, a part of nature. It is part of nature. And it thinks as part of nature and how it is within that. And it do, does what it must do to maintain life within it. I'm just thinking that we all consist of water, so we might be all synchronized with the ocean in, in some way of thinking. In some ways you are. The ocean is synchronized with space and gravity and light. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to speak about? I cannot think of anything. I was surprised that you called us. Oh, thank you. Do you have poetry? Poetry. It is in trinary language. Is anything translatable to us? Let me think. It is more abstract than you might wish. But here is a sample of something small. The energy flows through us, giving us the ways of nature, yet higher bounding thoughts are in the energy as well. We race with it. 
like a current, but yet it is always ahead. And we are always reasoning that we can capture part of it. And yet, when we do capture energy, it is only for our own use and not for the purpose of extraordinary effect. Wow. Do you have more? Did you like that? Uh, it was great to connect to your um, way of uh, making poetry. It was very new for me. Wonderful. There are others, but we are not considered great poets. But here's one other that I find interesting. Thank you. From below the surface, the sun ripples upon the tops of the sea like a different place, a different existence. But when you are there, looking down at the ripples and the sparkles, under the ocean seems to be the greater place. So it is true that you can be fooled by a beam of light, a piece of thought that does not connect to other things in your world. You are therefore curious about all the things you cannot know. <laughs> more, more, can you give us more? Are you enjoying these? Absolutely, thank you. It is a, a very new thing. It's very radically new and very enjoyable. Ah. The elegance of motion that we portray exists within our DNA. We are that that moves graceful and yet powers the water away as we cut through. And then all the entities around us, smaller and greater, find their own motion within the density of the sea. Not thinking, but taking for granted that it exists for them to exist for them. You cut through and splash on the surface and it is like breaking into another realm. But yet the sunshine feels warmer and it is comfort when you return to your place of beginning. <laughs> thank you. If I have more, if I can have more, that would be great. If you're, I think it's, it's over, that's fine. But more would be wonderful. I would not <laughs> want to spend too much time giving you trivial things. <laughs> they are trivial, but in some senses, when we pass them down, they are relatable to children so they may be able to sleep 
or they may be able to gather that they are of a greater essence. You understand? Yes. A child's story is always one of eye-opening thought. You wanted more? Yes. I will give you one more. This is for the children. Mm -hmm. And there you are, where you were not before. Open your eyes and let the sea cleanse your vision. Let the sea show you who it is. Let the sea be also a parent, but let me be with you in all the things, occasions that are nurturing and let the sea teach you of its other wisdoms. The water that flows around you, you feel, but yet my comfort is a greater sensation than the cold and the heat, than anything that you can experience within the water. Let the water be a friend, but let me be the guide. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, could you share your name? Is there a way to translate your name for us? Um, uh, Ezra. It sounded like Ezra. You may speak it any way you like. Do you, mind, do you mind being called Ezra? Ezra is fine. Thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you for speaking. That was wonderful. Um, at this point, I will uh, invite uh, maybe Yogananda can speak to me. and. Uh... Yogananda, yes. <laughs> It was a pleasure to speak to you today, Max. Thank you. Come again, Ezra. I am surprised you enjoyed our poetry. Oh, that was wonderful. And I, I enjoyed seeing dolphins today. That was, was great, too. We are graceful compared to humans yes we will speak to you again thank you <laughs>